Grace to you, brothers and sisters. Um, I was listening to a video by Polite Leader this morning, um, and he mentioned something. Um, the video was on Chick Fil A. Um, yeah, the morning that I was listening to this was um Wednesday. Um, the twenty eighth of November, twenty nineteen. So, uh, basically, what he mentioned there um was that we are moving into an era where like we won't be prevented just we won't just be prevented about speaking about the deity of christ or the resurrection of christ or even or even the crucifixion of christ but rather to speak about like we'll be prevented to speak about the gospel itself um the they're gonna stood in the way of um speaking about the gospel like sin itself because you would notice that in these days that we are living in sin has been categorized as hate especially when it's directed towards um homosexual especially um preaching uh preaching of sin is directed against homosexuals or women who um abort babies um it has been categorized as hate so we are living we are, we are moving into an age where these things will just be prohibited completely from being from coming out of the mouth of the christians um and we are living in an age where the gospel has been altered. Um, they have changed the gospel. Um, you would listen to most of the prosperity preachers. Um, they preach about how to perfect your personality. They speak on how to become a good person. I mean, we are living in an age where everyone thinks that they are good people. Everyone thinks that I am a good person. They suffer from self-righteousness. So we really are moving towards a time where they will become intolerant of Christians speaking about sin in public places um this is what i i really wanted to speak about because this touches very important issues um i mean a person has to first hear the bad news in order for him to accept the good news of the gospel so if they cannot accept the bad news then they cannot accept the good news of the gospel because they don't see why jesus had to die if they are good people you see because just imagine if um, I come and tell you that I paid your fine. Um, you, you, they said that you exceeded the speed limit on the on a specific road, um, and then I said I paid your fine. But and then you ask, um, what fine are you talking about? And then unless I tell you that okay, no, they said that you exceeded a speed limit, or unless you are in a court of law where they tell you that you exceed, exceeded the speed limit, but I then come and pay the fine for you. Then the good news will be that, but so-and-so paid your fine. But if you don't see why you have to pay a fine, then you won't see why I paid the fine for you. <laughs> I'm sure you, um, I'm thinking you might be getting what I'm saying. Yeah, but this is basically what I wanted to say, that we are moving into an age where they will become intolerant of Christians their gospel and notice that it's not the problem is not with all the other religions the problem is with christianity they have a problem with christianity specifically because most of the laws that they create they create against christianity i mean there's a case now in england which is a doctor is appealing where the judge said that um the definition of um sexuality in the bible is not consistent with human dignity sorry with human rights or something like that i can't really remember the entire judgment but yeah that's basically what they said which is they're gonna become intolerant of us but anyway this is what i wanted to share my brothers and sisters um thank you